Okay, on the bench today here at the DS Radio Shop is a Connex 4600 Turbo. Mr. John, this is your radio. And Mr. Francis, before you say anything, there's an amplifier in the bottom. That's why I'm using my solder to hold it up. Otherwise, I would have had this propped up because the way the heat sink is, it would have slid down anyways. But Mr. Francis had this built to prop up the radios here so I don't have to use my roll of solder. So I use this quite often. Uh, but again, today I'm going to use this because the way the amplifier is, I don't want to have that slide off my my radio holder here so that's one reason why i have uh this but this is a great you can find these online i got a 3d print i can actually make one of these myself um they're great to use so you can prop it this way you can prop it you know that way if you're looking down inside of a reel in reverse to do some work but to test it out when you're done prop it up this way so it's kind of nice to have for a piece of test uh, test piece here on the bench so thank you for that mr francis appreciate it Anyways, Mr. John, this is your radio, Connex 4600 Turbo. Okay. Right there. 4600 Turbo. Okay, so Mr. John sent this radio to me back in February 2023 of this year. Nothing wrong with the radio. Works perfectly fine. Then he ran into an antenna issue and uh, wasn't sure if it damaged the radio. Because when he went to key up, there was no modulation going out, so he didn't know what was going on. So, he sent it back here to have a double check to make sure nothing got fried, damaged, all that good stuff. So, Mr. John, rest assured, the honest guy that I am, and respectful guy that I am, <clears throat> and highly recommended shop that I am, and have been for many years and will always be, uh, there is nothing wrong with your radio, Mr. John, besides your four-pin receptacle. The finals, the amplifier section, all of that, regulators, everything is perfectly fine with the radio. So, um, as we talked about on the phone, the worst case scenario versus the least case scenario. This case here, your audio pin was sloppy on the receptacle. So I put a four pin receptacle in here and replaced that. Outside of that, your radio is perfectly fine. Um, she's doing a good 200 watts out, that's the way it should be. Uh, it should always be two watt low, 10 watt high. So with the variable power down, is 2 watts low. All the way up is 10 watts high. Okay. And I know a few guys like Panic Boy and everybody else out there like to put these at 15 and 25 watt, 30 watt dead key. Don't do that. You're going to fry your radio, guys. The purpose of the variable power is not your PEP. It is for your drive carrier. Okay. So when you have a drive carrier set too high, you're going to overheat the regulators and burn them out. You need to put your radios at 2 watt low and 10 watt high and let the radio produce the power it's supposed to produce and run clean the way it should run. That's what you should do. So that is why Mr. John sent his radio here because he knows it's going to get done right. So I appreciate that, Mr. John. And I will box this up and get it right back out the door to you today. And there is no charge for the work I've done to replace the receptacle because... I'm not worried about the cost of that because you're paying the shipping to and from anyway. So as agreed upon, I took care of this for him at no additional cost to him. And uh, that was my choice because uh, you take care of your customers. So I, uh, I know John loves his radio and I want to make sure this goes right back in good working condition. So like again, this came back and this was here February the first time. Got it all done up, working great. And then you ran into like a little antenna issue, no big deal. He figured out the problem, got it all fixed, and and the only thing he needed was just receptacle replaced. Uh, that just happened to go over time from where. But um, it's a good talking radio. Nothing wrong with it right now. So, Mr. John, it's coming right back to you, buddy. And uh, you can enjoy your radio once again. Hello, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Check, 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 check. 250 watts log and 200 watts going out. So, let's see if anybody's around. Yeah, can I get a radio check out there, please? See if anybody's around today.
Any drivers floating around the area? Hello. Hey, Deer Slayer, you copy New York? How about it, Deer Slayer? 2 double over on the apple trees. We checking out this Connex radio. Come on. How about it, old Deer Slayer? How about it, Deer Slayer? Open those kind of picking ears up here to the Yankee State. 2 double o we trying. I'll turn out, to, out west. Hey, Deer Slayer, you copy New York? Conditions, conditions, conditions. Turn that down some. <laughs> I love listening to these guys on sex. You ain't gonna talk any skip down here. I just go down here to listen because unless you're running. You know, 5,000 watt driver, you ain't talking to nobody. Those guys are on too much damn power. But uh, it's always good hearing them. Anyways, so John, your radio's perfectly fine, buddy. We'll get it all boxed up out the door to you today. No problem at all. And we'll move on to the next radio. So uh, thank you for your support to the business here as well. And uh, look forward to hearing you on the air soon. DX Radio Shop, Upstate New York, 315-573-9205.